This lesson is going to focus on averages, uh, technically called measure of central tendency. But I want to ask you this question first. The concept averages that we're going to look at is very similar to this same concept. Here are three writing utensils. They're all similar because they all write. They all do the same thing. You can put it in your hand, touch it to the paper, and marks will happen. A pencil, a highlighter, a pen. But they all have a unique difference. They all do something a little bit different, even though they all do the same thing. Now, it's the same with the averages behind me. Averages. There are three types of averages. Mean, median, and mode. They all do the same thing. Their job is to find the middle of something. The reason we as humans want the middle of something is to know if we're good or bad. What is the average of the test? A B? Well, I immediately look and see what I got and say, am I above or below average? And this helps us figure out if we fit in when we should. A lot of times we want to be in the middle. Okay, do I look like a lot of people? Do I, look, do, I, do, do I do this the same as people? Do I do this the same as people? When I talk, do I talk in the normal classroom tone? Or do I scream when I talk? I, all the, there's a lot of different things in the world that you want to figure out if you're part of the middle or not. That's why averages are so important to the human race. But they all do the same thing. People say, find the average. They immediately go to the mean. That's not the only one. We're grown, we, we are brought up understanding that mean is the only average. Then we get taught how to do these, but we don't understand they all three do the same. There's definite advantages and disadvantages. There are three because there are three different times that they don't work. So let's take a look at some examples, see if we can't clear some of this up. Here are five students. Ages 12, 12, 13, 12, and 13. What I want to do is find all three averages and we'll talk about what we see. So I'm going to do the mean first. I'm going to take 12, 12, 12, 13, 13, add them up and divide. So I have 36 plus 26 equals 62. Divide by 5 equals 12.4. So I put a wavy equal signs, 12.4. Now that should make sense because 12.4 is like 12 and a half. Does it make sense that 12 and a half is the middle of 12s and 13s? I hope so, because if it doesn't, it's not doing its job. So yes, is this in the middle of these numbers? Check. I would say it is. Median. Find the middle number. No, it's not 13. Why is it not 13? What must happen first before I find the middle number? That's right, they have to go in order. So I'm just going to move these two around. This becomes a 12, this becomes a 13. Okay, cross off the outsides. One, 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 one. Hey, I got one middle number. There's a 12 year old. So 12 is the median. Does 12 seem to be in the middle of 12 and 13? Yeah, yeah, it's not quite in the middle, but is it close to 12.5? Yes. Shouldn't all three of these numbers be close together? If all of them are to find the middle, shouldn't all three answers be close together? The answer is yes. They're all supposed to do the same thing. Okay, mode is most common number. I got a 12, so I put 12 here. Check. Are all three of these fairly close? The answer is yes. So that means all three are doing their job. They're all finding the middle number. So in this case, with these numbers, I could use any one of these as the answer. What's the average? Oh, pick one. One is not more right than another. People say, this one's more accurate because I used all the numbers. In the median, didn't you use all five numbers? It's the same concept. You still use them all. Now I want you to watch what happens. Here is the difference that starts separating which average works best and when. Now I stand in this group. I am 37. I think, I forget. Let's go with 37. 
So now, include this with the ages. Which average is now right? So let's do the mean. Remember, they're supposed to find the middle. The most common, the middle, what average works best? Mean. Median. Mode. Mean, add up all the numbers. 36. 36 plus 26 plus my number 37 equals 99. Divide by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, now 6 people, equals 16.5. So the average age in this 7th grade class is 16 and a half years old. That means you all are allowed to drive. Hmm. Medium. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Cross off. 1, 2, 1, 2. Now I have two numbers. What do I do when I have two numbers? I have to find the middle of the two numbers. You can either reason it out or add them up and divide. 12 plus 13 is 25. Divide by 2 is 12 and a half. 12.5. So the median is 12.5. The mode still is 12. So here becomes the whole point. This is a seventh grade group with me included. What should be the average age of this group? It should be around 12 or 13. Are all three of these averages close together? The answer is no, they're not. The mean is not close. Now, why is the mean not close? Why does this say the average of this class is 16 going on 17? Why? Because I joined in. My number is a lot bigger or smaller than yours. This number is called an outlier. An outlier is a much larger or smaller number that is different than the rest. Outlier changes the mean. It pulls it way up because it's bigger. If it was really small, it would pull it way down. So the mean average is not good if there is an outlier in the group. It's not. This is not accurate. The average age of a 7th grade class is not 16 going on 17. That's no good. So, it's not how to find them, it's when you use them. When should I use the mean? When there are no outliers. No big or very small numbers. All of the numbers are very close together. That is the rule. Has the median changed very much? Look, it used to be 12, now it's 12.5. Did this number really change the mean at all? It moved it one half space over, because it was an extra number. Watch real quick. What if instead of 37, I was 87? Now watch what happens. 36. 36 plus 26 plus 87 equals 149 divided by 6 equals. Now the average age in here is 25. Watch what the median does. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Hey, the median didn't change at all. The median was built for outliers. It doesn't care how old or young I am. It will not be affected by the median, or sorry, by the outlier. It will not be changed. You know who does get changed is the mean. So the average age of my seventh grade group is 25. No good. The median is great when there are outliers. If there are outliers, the median doesn't care. He still will find the middle number, always. He will find the middle number. I could be 187. Guess where he's still at? Oh, I'm in the middle. I could be 987 years old, and he is still in the middle. The median was built for outliers. He crosses him off just as fast as he crosses off the low number. Now, in this case, did the mode change at all? No. The mode is a little different. The mode is usually used when things don't have a number. So if I would say, what's the average eye color in here? 
there's no number for that. Oh, 4.2 is the average eye color. Really? No, blue or brown would be the average eye color. Uh, what's your favorite pet? Dogs, cats. It's things like that. That's what mode is really good for. Here's the biggest thing. Mean is bad when there is an outlier present. Now, if you look at the numbers and don't know, how would you know? Check. Are the three averages close together? If they are close, that means no outlier. That's real important. If the numbers are close together, that means they're all doing their job. There is no outlier. What if the numbers are not close together? If my answers are not close, there is an outlier. Outliers are bad. They mess up the mean. And kids do that. They're like, oh, great. We're, out. We're all 25 years old. Really? I don't think. Or they'd say the average is. So mean, median, mode. It's not how to find them. You all know how to find them. It's when to use it, which is the best answer for a setup. Mean, no outliers can be present if you want him to work right. Median. It doesn't matter if outliers are there, he will take care of them. He'll cross them off just as fast if they're really big or really small. Mode is used for things that typically don't have numbers. Eye color, favorite pets, things like that. Remember, they all do the same. Each one has a specific job. Best with no outliers. Best with an outlier. Things without numbers. Good luck.